ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Let's crack on. I can't actually remember what we were doing. Franklin's green, in he? I think we need to switch to Trevor. Yeah, we're going to switch to Trevor. I'm a celebrity in the Alamo Sea! What the hell have I just been chucked out of? You're nothing but a parasite on a scalp. Oh, ah. brilliant idiot, ah. dumbass. Ah. Ah. I'm gonna knock your teeth out. Ah. Ah. It's Jimmy, uh, motherfucker, so glad you're back. Been acting like a weirdo bitch recently. I'm angry, What's she's that? all calm and fucked down. Let's get, um, yeah. I'm still driving this truck. The light's gone green, the traffic's moved. Actually, what is that behind you? Forget it. Uh, we miss you, really miss you. Listen, there's been all kinds of crazies. Uh, I've been hearing about the flying school, it's, yep. machine is being monitored. Let's go. Right, where are we going? What is that? Celebrity item. Oh, right, we're still getting... Okay, I'll go and grab that quick. Why not? Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. Oh, what? Why have I got to switch back to... What's going on? It's cool, because you're playing three stories that all tie into one. Uh, you gotta quit that shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. I just said the same fucking thing to my wife. You see his face that last time I popped it. <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! No, it's this God. kid. Asshole. You. You back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> he reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> Get him, Trev. Get him. <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. You. Mm. Where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. 
Yeah, we did. Hey, Bob. What are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep bastard away from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. Uh -huh. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP, you know? You're so, a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know, what did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I told, hmm? them, I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I... Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. Because no, 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 I'm tired of these fucking no, nitwits at the agency go. taking all the glory. Let me go. Hey, right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. <laughs> The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. If I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed. Ratchet! Fake your death and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there? Wait! Hey, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. The right Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey. They've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. I got it. Can I get you anything? Hey, you want a coffee? Some water. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want. Ah, huh, man? Ah, huh, please. Look at me, please. Hmm. There'll be plenty of time to try all of them. 
Sorry, guys. I'm a savage. No, 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 no. <coughs> My teeth are perfect. Mm hmm. They've been whining. Please don't. Why don't you say something I want to hear? I just have them lasered. You're boring me. Are they sterilized? Right. <laughs> Best way to make a man talk is to stop him being able to talk. That hurts too much. There you go. Mr. You can Phillips, hear the heart rate going up. About Tay here. Javon. What didn't you ask me? I know it's out here. I did this home theater. He lives in Chumash. The right on the Western Highway. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> That's a lovely colour. I love the colour of that car. So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said... You'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than they needed. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not... This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you him up. No, no, please. Let's check his health. Hmm. Break him, Mr. Phillips. What do you want? Oh, 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 oh. Come on. You're going to tell please. me? You can't! Three. It's going to hurt! Two. Is it the small one? Bullseye! Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk. It's the day I got given up. That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy we're after. What does he look like? I was built. I was like middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani for God's sake. Look around. That enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? I see a couple guys that are way too old and too fat to be doing a political assassination. We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. That's just she thought she's Make kind a of pretty. Call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. 
That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Oh, Sorry, too no. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Woo! Let's check yourself. Oh, I think we're gonna go for another crush. It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, oh. E oh, oh, yeah. e oh, 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 oh. Three. Come on! Two. Three. Nutcracker! So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 yeah? I'm telling you the truth. Bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. Huh, no. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our Please, no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. We're back in. Give me some eyes. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. Fuck's sake. It'll be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. This guy's gonna die on me. He's got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you. He smokes. That's all I know. This'll put hair on your chest. You're going to kill me! I will die! Or you will kill me! My heart! Please! Oh. He's done. All right. Don't do it! He's cut. <laughs> Oh, I think he's getting a stiffy. Mr. K. Mr. K. I don't know anything, you please. Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes Redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be. Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, me too. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on, let's go. All right, I mean, you got a flight to catch, okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. 
No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. Turn him forward. I love him very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government Oops. would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Me. Run. You're free. <laughs> but my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Do what he really? says, man. Run. Yeah, really, now let's go. Fuck off. Run. Come on. You're free. Go. Page celebrity I oh, asked in the fucking golf course. Right, let's go and get it. You know what? I'm done with this. Fucking. Away. Shit. Miss me turn. Right, what I actually need to do is go to the entrance of this place. God, the roads are so cool when they're wet. They look amazing as well. 
There's the entrance. I'm dead. Right, changing tactics. I haven't got the police after me yet. Fucking hell, alright. the guy in red. the cops okay this is not gonna be fun it's only two stars but oh god what the fuck is this thing Car lady. Word up! <laughs> I said it, Mrs. Thornhill. I uh, persuaded Mark Faustenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your museum of dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon. I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. Miss me! Now, it says there's one here. It's down below. It's on this foot. Oh shit, it's inside the place, I think. It is, it's inside here. Right, we might get into a fight, alright? Taxi! No, I'm good. I bet I could hit your G sharp every time. You guys were amazing tonight. Ah, you know. Chin stainer is like my ultimate breakup song. That track is so fucking layered, man. It's like a renaissance. Hey, man, no more autographs. Hey, that's all. <laughs> you want it? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my tooth, you bastard! <laughs> 
makes his goal to too. A musical icon. I bet Crow doesn't have to deal with this shite. I'd say my work is done here. Somebody stop that nutter! Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing, aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo! Oh, we got any more of these? I think we're good. Well, I've got a rampage. I've got a Barry. Uh, there's a proper Trevor one there. Oh, hang on, there is another one. Fuck, yeah, there is. Hang on. Hey, Carrie, can I pet your pooch? I'm a big fan. Dexy, Dexy, that's your fault, you stupid bald prick. Hey, you. Quick! Go on! Go after him! What are you waiting for? You scared him! Dixie! God's sake. Let me the fuck out of here. Right. Gotcha, you little bastard. There, there. I know this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a batshit crazy lady very happy. Okay, uh, now get back to Jerry before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. Ew! Loserville! Chalk! Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals collar from Carrie McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to 
to make our holiday so special. Nah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. Aha. Uh -huh. Actually, guys, I'm just going to get a taxi to take me to the next spot so I can have a sip of coffee. I'm dying for a sip of coffee right now. Um, What the hell is this one up here? Clavis. Oh, was that the weirdo? Should we go and see him again quickly? Cab ASAP. Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. Glad to hear it. That'd be the ambulance coming to sort that woman out that I just punched in the teeth. So she called me a loser. You know what I mean? I just. Forest. Right away, sir. Vamos, let's go. Buckle up. Yeah. Shit. All right, guys. I'm just gonna sip a coffee. It won't be a sec. Drive there, it's a lot quicker. Ah. Oh, it's a Porsche. Whoa! Jesus Christ!
every fucking time this corner gets me every time. Even the cars alone in this game are amazing. Here you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, but ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is his biggest defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Go on, put him down. Cleaner than that. All right, stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. But oh, we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle to you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds what? like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. You gotta pull the trigger. Shot like a true professional. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Yes, Stay quiet. Lots of fun I this think is. we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's Look at the sunset, out. though. Look now, at remember, this shit. Remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it Such be. Such a beautiful Blow game. Whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. Fuck sake of Spooton. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further.
further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. He's run off. Oh, fuck, I can't be fucked to do this. This is such mindless bullshit. Sorry, sorry. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's yes. check it out. Let me now, do my remember, fucking call. If it's a pair, we're all... Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Sorry, guys, I'm getting frustrated with this bloody mission. I hate missions like this in games. They're pointless, they're stupid. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. I wouldn't get much closer than that. Emails, Trevor, don't do it. Ones with antlers, you want me to get. Now lay him in the shade. That's a rock. That's him. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pick your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. I hate missions like this in games. These piss me off. There's no fucking point to these. You know you want me to take a photo of a dead animal's corpse. Yeah, God bless America. <sighs> Done with this crazy shit. I'm going to skip the Cletus missions from now on. Got the photo. Another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild-raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? 
Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you. Well, guys, unfortunately, I've got to leave it there for now, but I'll see you guys on the next episode. I'm going to stop for 10 minutes, have a bong and a coffee, and I'm going to come right back. Love all of you. See you on the next one. Cheerio.